Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. Uh, today's mail call. Just a quick mail call. Mail call is where I uh, open stuff that's arrived in the mail. I've, I've bought a few bits and pieces lately and they've just turned up. Uh, a couple of things from Amazon and a couple of things from AliExpress. So I uh, just want to get those out of the way. And after that, I'm going to be working on this book. I'm halfway through at the moment. I'm doing a new book teardown for uh, um, this epic tome. This is uh, God Created the Integers by Stephen Hawking. So it's a mathematics book. Um, and it's, got, it's a compendium of uh, famous works from Euclid through to Turing and Gödel. So um, yes, definitely uh, enjoying this one. But uh, I've had four, four goes at it so far and I'm only about halfway through. So... Um, I'll try and finish this uh, today after I make this video. This video shouldn't be very long. Uh, it's just a couple of things, as I said. So uh, let's pop over to the bench and I'll show you what's arrived in the mail. Here on the bench. So uh, what are we going to do first? How about this first? Um, I'm going to need some sort of a, a, a knife. What about this one? This will do. There we go. Okay, so this is um, some uh, banana banana uh, plugs. Excellent. So uh, you've probably seen these before. They're they're uh... oh, there's three. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So uh, yeah, they just. Um, they're just banana plugs, and the good thing about these ones is they've got a, a piggyback, so you can stack them, which is uh, really handy. So yeah, just a couple of, uh, of banana plugs for us today. Put these uh, away later on. I keep them uh, over in the corner, just a bit out of reach. So... Uh, very good. I'll keep these bags. These are perfectly cromulent bags. No uh, stickers or damage or labels or anything. They're perfectly ready to be reused. Excellent. Okay. And up next, this is another one from uh, AliExpress. Ah. <sighs> All right, what have we got? Ah, excellent. This isn't actually AliExpress at all. I, I'm pretty sure I got this from, maybe, I forget where I got this actually. Anyway, it's the new um, Logitech Brio. Um, this is gonna be my maths cam. I'm, I'm starting a new segment on, on the show soon that's gonna be called Maths Homework. Um, and uh, if I was American, I would say math homework. And personally, I'm happy to do that. And I usually try to use like American English as international English when I'm doing things. Um, but my family got stroppy with me about it. They said that they, they, they felt like I was selling them out. <laughs> so I have to call it maths homework because that's, that's how it's pronounced in Australia when things are done properly. Am I right? Now what's going on here? It's got a. Sorry about that. So, there was something under my mat. It was uh, that. What's going on here? There's something else under there as well. Just give me a second. I'll, I'll fix this and I'll be back. Sorry for that interruption. We're back. So as I was saying, uh, the um, the Logitech Brio will be the, the camera I use to record my uh, mathematics homework, which I'll be doing soon. Um, I'm not sure how we're received it's going to be. I don't know if people are going to care for it very much um, because I'm going to start with some very basic mathematics. I'm going to go back to year nine. So mathematics that you would have learnt in the ninth grade if you went to school in New South Wales, Australia. It's probably pretty similar around the world, I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'll be doing, and this is the camera that I'll be using for that. So, uh, just a, 
a quick unboxing there of the Logitech Brio. I won't do a separate unboxing of this um, of this bit of equipment, um, but here it is. So there's a bit of cardboard packaging there. Oh, that's good. It comes with a USB-C to USB-A uh, 3.0 cable. That's good to have. Oh, some sort of a packaging. Okay. And then some uh, instructions and such. <sighs> Very good. All right. Well, this is really stuck in there. Why won't that pop out? There we go. All right. So uh, he's still got his bits of plastic and stuff on him. I'm going to install that uh, later. And, and now that I've got it, I, I, I should try and make the first mathematics video. So stand by for that. It should be coming out on the channel pretty soon. Uh, I haven't done one of them before, so, I, so I'm not really quite sure how it's all going to work. Now, here's a couple of things that I got from Amazon. Uh, what have we got in here? Ah, uh, yes. So, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I recently got a costume upgrade on the... Uh, on the channel here, um, I, I I used to wear the uh, the blue shirt, but now I uh, <coughs> I use the uh, the camo shirt. This is the camo shirt here. Um, just give me a second. Sorry, I just uh, um, uh, adjusted the camera for the in the top right corner bit so you can see me. This is my uh, my new camo shirt. Um, my costume is inspired by Egon Stepman, the chief scientist from StarCraft II. Um, and in, when he wears his uh, uniform, he wears a, a camo t-shirt. So I recently upgraded to the camo t-shirt. Uh, this is the first one I got. And this one here on the bench now, that's my uh, second one. I, I got a backup shirt. So I've got two. So I can have one in the laundry uh, while the other one's in use. Um, so that explains that. And then there's another another one here from Amazon. Um, I'm not quite sure where the uh, Ah, yes, of course. So um, this is just um, eucalyptus spray. So I uh, I use it as a, a, a disinfectant. I don't know if this is popular in other parts of the world, but in Australia we have eucalyptus trees, which make eucalyptus oil, um, which is a, a, a good disinfectant um, material or substance. So that's what that is, some disinfectant. Uh, <clears throat> And then there's two more bags to go. Uh, these are from AliExpress. I might just uh, put my scalpel away and uh, and get out the uh, scissors for this one. Just going to go through here. All right. So this is a uh, bag within bag. Let's see if I can get that figured out. What have we got? Ah, uh, yes. So it's just a bunch of uh, banana plug terminals. Uh, and I've had, I, I've got heaps of them. Uh, and I bought more of these ones because um, I discovered that they're my favorite. They're uh, quite small. So they're not bigger than they need to be. Some of the ones I have are these huge monstrous things, um, which aren't better. <sighs> so uh, let me show you. 
these are my uh, banana plug sockets uh, and these are the ones that I got more of so th these are the same um, and as I said these ones are better than the other ones look at these things these great big honking things that they, they, they suck they're not better and they're way bigger um, so uh, yeah, I, and these as well. Look, look how look how big and clumpy and awful they are. So um, yeah, these great big ones. I wouldn't recommend them. Um, you know, they're a hassle. So uh, <clears throat> these are alternative ones that I got. Uh, they're heaps better in my view. So that's why I got more of them. So uh, just, uh, squeeze them all in here. And that's my uh, banana sockets. I've got a lot of them, um, but these are my favorite ones. So there you go. Um, in the show notes, I'll link to, uh, to all of this equipment as well. So if you want to go and get yourself some, you'll be able to find a link to do that. Now, this is the last thing. Uh, I don't know what it is. Ah oh, yes, it's more banana plugs and such. Alright. So these are um, uh, banana plug jumper thingies. So uh, what did we do with those scissors over here? Uh, what have we got? This is a uh, banana jumper hook clip, um, which is not quite right, is it? Some of them are hook clips. But some of them are actually just jumpers. Oh, banana jumper. Yeah, okay, banana jumper. Uh, so, so I guess we're, we're calling these banana jumpers, which is fair enough. So you see one of these guys <coughs> has a banana plug on one end. Uh, are these correct sizes? <sighs> Got a tangle of cables here. Alright, so uh, yeah, they're the same size. That will fit in there and that will fit in the ripper. So uh, in addition to those straight through banana plug cables, um, which I got earlier, these are banana jumpers and they're just to uh, DuPont uh, male. That's DuPont uh, male. So uh, plenty of jumpers. That's good. And uh, they're in this drawer. Uh, hook clips as well. Okay. Um, okay. I should just make this banana jumpers. Anyway, not your problem. Uh, and this is probably just some more banana plug stuff as well. Can I get in there? I don't know. I'll try this. There you go. So I got some more hook clips. Um, I made some cables the other day uh, with these hook clips. Uh, you might have seen that video. It was uh, <laughs> it was just a cable making video, which I have to say is it's pretty basic content, but I do like uh, I do like making cables. It's something that if you're an electronics hobbyist, you might find yourself doing quite a lot. I know I certainly find myself making cables all the time. So just going to um, clip this off. Um, and this was uh, the label on the DuPont jumper banana plug thing. So I'll just, uh, I'll just keep that little uh, cable, the uh, cable label in the back here in case I'm looking for what I purchased 
one day I'll be able to find it. Uh, yes, so there's there's our um, our hook clips. These have to be uh, manually attached. Um, you set you send a wire in there and, and solder it together, and, and that's what that is. So. Uh, Um, I think we're going to call that a wrap. That's everything. So I'll throw you over the farewell cam and we'll wrap up. And that's a wrap. So uh, yeah, just a quick mail call today. A few things arrived. Obviously my uh, Logitech Brio uh, webcam. That's the favorite thing to arrive today. Um, I suppose the least favorite thing today was uh, these uh, banana plug, uh, uh, not banana plug hook clips. These, that's why they're my least favorite. These things, they're hook clips, you know, little probes that hook, hook on, um, but uh, they haven't got wires attached. So if you want to use them, you have to solder on a bit of wire um, for, for whatever you want on the other end, whether it's a jumper or a plug or alligator or whatever. So um, these are just to have on standby. Um, also, uh, my new uh, shirt. This is my new uh, camo uh, costume shirt. Goes with my uh, with my, the rest of my costume, so I can look more like Egon Stepman from StarCraft Two. Um, yeah, and of course, I got all of those uh, banana plug bits and pieces. So those those are all uh, good to have. So um, yes, little little bit of a haul today, um, particularly. Uh, it's an enabler for the maths cam. I think I might do that first video right now. So uh, I'm going to uh, wrap this one up, get it published, and then I'll, I'll, I'll work on the inaugural uh, maths homework video. Uh, and then of course, as I mentioned earlier, I've got to finish the, uh, the new book teardown that I'm halfway through, which is uh, God Created the Integers by Stephen Hawking. So if you're interested in that, um, that'll be coming up soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching, and please remember to hit like and subscribe. Hi again. I thought uh, <coughs> I might just uh, uh, record this little addendum to my video. Um, I was uh, just uh, uh, tidying up my uh, my, my uh, logic probes and my hook clips, and I thought I might show you how uh, how that turned out. Now. Um, I have these in here. These are actually um, alligator clips. Uh, I don't think I'll ever use them. I'm not quite sure how they connect. I think basically you just jam a, a typical uh, alligator, like uh, digital multimeter probe. You just stick it in there and it, and it literally just squeezes on. Um, I didn't have anywhere particular to keep these, so I just kept them in the back there. I don't expect I'll ever use them. Uh, these are hook clips um, that you can see. I've, I've got three uh, black ones and there's also um, three uh, red ones which are, which are similar. Um, these are different to the other. Oh no, look, there we go. I've got four of each. There you go. So um, these actually uh, have screw terminals in the back. So that they're, they're the hook clip. Uh, can I show you? Hang on a second. Um, what do we got here? Yes. Uh, so if I just throw you over there, and this is the uh, this is the uh, um, uh, microscope, uh, and let's just see. Can we? Uh, hang on a second. So, see if I can uh, get this in focus. Where are you? There. Okay. Now, there we go. So you should be able to see that up the top of your uh, uh, screen there. And you see that's the, the hook clip. So it pops out and then it comes back down to attach to something so you could you could hook clip it uh, onto something like that and then in and, and there it is all clipped up so that's how that's how the hook clips work um, so uh, yes as I was saying I've got a um, I've got a bunch of these ones with a screw terminal on the back now 
the screw terminal works with the, uh, these particular um, uh, probes, uh, which are, are for uh, a digital multimeter. I'll just take that uh, that microscope off again there while we're not using it. So uh, yes, these are just typical multimeter probes, uh, and the ends of them have screw tips, so you can screw on different attachments. The attachment that's screwed on here at the moment is a uh, alligator uh, clip. Uh, as you can see, that's an alligator clip there. Um, so <laughs> this probe uh, with the screw tip here, I wonder if I can get that under the microscope again for you. Yeah, you can see that there. And I can just put that in there and uh, and screw it up. And then, then I have uh, a, a, a screw tip with, uh, <clears throat> with, the, with the hook. Uh, attached as you can see there so um, uh, if I need to build uh, a digital multimeter cable with that particular type of uh, end I can do that although usually I probably won't need to because uh, you can use a banana plug um, for a digi digital multimeter and I already have banana plug to screw tip uh, cables. I've got a whole box full of them, so it would be unusual for me to be using this. But it, it it's a it's an option. Uh, and then the rest of the um, the com the uh, components in this uh, drawer, which is labeled like hook clips, these are components for making your own cable. Um, uh, you you need to pop, pull the this bit off the back. Um, and then uh, you need to uh, solder something on there and you feed it through this hole in the back out again and uh, uh, and that's that's how that's how those uh, cables are, are made and then again it's just a hook clip there as we saw on the other one uh, earlier the same type of hook clip uh, the hook clip is just the one thing. There are these other ones that come out like that, um, and that's what I'll show you next. So this book box of hook clips uh, is just the the two types that I showed you: the the um, the screw terminals, and then the the the, the solder lugs. Um, so uh, I also have this other drawer, which is labeled logic probes. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, and. Um, it includes some hook clips, um, and I made these uh, cables. Uh, there would have been a video on the channel of me making these hook clips, so if you wanted to see how that was done, by all means, check it out. Um, I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, and uh, as you can see, um, these guys, their um, uh, hook clip on each end, uh, and, the, and they run through, but they run through to a joint, uh, which can be disconnected and on one end is a, a, a DuPont male and on the other end is a DuPont female so um, so they can join to be a single uh, uh, hook, hook clip or they can be separated to provide either a male or a female so I've got uh, four of those five of those in fact is it red green black blue red green black blue gold Okay, cool. Um, so, so those are one type of logic probe that I've got over here, but there are other types of probe in this drawer. Um, this one, uh, I'll have to get the, the magnifying glass out again to show you. Um, let's just flip that over there. Now, where did that go? Give me that. There he is. Now, you can see um, <clears throat> when, I, when I push this out, can you see the, um, the little graspy handy bits that come out? So um, uh, that, that's on the front end of this thing. On the back is a, a, a DuPont uh, male. So um, if we have a DuPont female, such as with this one here, um, we could just um, clip it together like that and then our uh, DuPont cable is connected to the to the bit uh, with the clampy the clampy clamp. So uh, in this drawer, there's a bunch of of, uh, <coughs> of those kind of ones. They're all different colors: green, blue, red, yellow, white, black. 
So, uh, oh, it's again the same five colors. There we go. That seems to be a bit of a theme, doesn't it? Although this one didn't have white, did it? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. So five colors without the white, six colors with the white. Um, so those are the other types of probes in here, but that's not that's not all because we also have these guys. Now these guys have a banana plug, female banana plug in the back end of them. So if we have a, 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 a banana a jack, we can plug it in like that. And then we've got our, our probe uh, available now this probe is um, it's it's a it's a um, it's a like uh, it's like a pin prick thing it's a it's an insulation piercing probe so uh, it's just got a really fine point on the tip of it I suppose I could show you can I bring that up yeah you can see that that's just a, a fine tip there um, so uh, yeah, there's a bunch of these ones, and they have little um, protectors. I'll show you the protector. Let's get it back in there. All right. Yeah, so you can see that's the the plastic uh, protector that 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 keeps the sharp bit from sticking into things. And again, we've got a bunch of different colours of these, uh, and there's actually a whole bag of them down the bottom here. So those are the other types of probes. So we've got one, two, three types of probes so far. Then we've got these ones. Now I've actually got some of these at the back here on my mat. Um, again, it's it's DuPont uh, female adapter on the back. We'll go on there. And then these things, these are ultra fine. Let me see if I can show you on the um, thing. So can you see that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's again that, that particular type of, of hook clip. Um, and these things are super, super, super fine. You can see how small that is, uh, and it can get right in there, even on surface mount uh, uh, pins. It's 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 a really precision uh, probe thingy. Uh, and these have got these handy um, big plastic uh, triggers, so you don't lose the, uh, the 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 thing. It's easy to find. Um, and then. Uh, as well as the the great big chunky ones, these are basically the same thing, uh, but without the the great big honking uh, uh, thing. So if I could just show you that there, under the thing, if I push it, um, I need something to push it with. Let me push it with this. Uh, you can see, uh, out comes the uh, out comes the little graspy bit for the for the probe so I've got a bunch of those in these uh, yellow containers up the back here that's what they're full of these ones are full of the, the ones that I showed you there um, these ones again uh, they're, they're similar to, to these two um, these ones are for insulation peering and these ones are, are hook clips with uh, various uh, DuPont options on the back end so that, that completes my collection of logic probes. Oh, actually, it doesn't look. I've also got these, I suppose, uh, special mention. These are, um, these are two uh, just jumper extension thingies. So um, you, you, can, you can use them to so say, for instance, this. Um, you can connect it uh, to, to, to this if you want. So uh, that, that's what that's what those are for that these are just some some wires for attaching uh, again DuPont uh, female uh, to, um, uh, to, to, to to these things so that's 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 everything so um, uh, uh, this time I'll wrap up uh, for sure so uh, thanks very much for watching this video I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, and please remember to hit like and subscribe